Hello everyone, this is the Nerdy Druid. I am back with another video. So um, the video is going to be entitled The Importance of Pagan Pride. Um, so back in September, I went to my first Pagan Pride um, get together and I am going to say I had a blast. It was uh, great. It was also Temptation City with all the vendors that were there um, I just had a blast and next year me and my brother are going my brother couldn't go because uh, he had to close and he was not um, all there so I went by myself but um, I did have a lot of fun um, nobody tried anything with me and it was it was just a lot of fun and I highly enjoyed it and that's why I'm going next year so what I'm in the process of doing is saving up my money to go to uh, Pagan Pride so that I can enjoy um, everything that's there and maybe spend a little bit more money than I did um, this year. So the importance of Pagan Pride. So I am a lone pagan and I, you know, I'm a polytheist and all that jazz. And, um, you know, I've, um, you know, I've, I've laid claim to what path I'm going to follow and everything like that. Uh, so one of the huge things that I really did love about Pagan Pride was the sheer amount of Pagans that were there. And, um, you know, they were reconnecting with uh, people they hadn't seen in two years. And they were buying things and they were taking part in different events. So when you are part of a, like I would say, like a, a marginalized community or you're part of a, uh, a group that is not wholly accepted by people, and that was pretty evident in the fact that... Um, I was hearing a pastor preaching about, you know, about how basically, it's essentially how evil we all were. Um, it really did drive home the point that we are not accepted by everyone. Um, but the great thing is uh, the Louisville Police Department ensured that he did not get near the event to cause uh, trouble, which was a lot better than the New York event, which uh, I had heard uh, some bad stuff about. So, um, so, like I said, when you are a solo pagan, when you are, um, when you are by yourself, when you do not have uh, other pagans to rely on, having uh, having these um, events is really a really great. It's re sorry. It's really great for everyone all around because they can connect with other um, pagans. They can, um, you know, they can really feel like that they truly are a part of the uh, community and I do intend to uh, my brother's going to record like all the places that I go to and all that type of stuff um but uh you know like uh, for example I went to the barefoot owls tent and I had never heard of the barefoot owl which is another thing I want to point out uh pagan pride is also a great place to go to be introduced to vendors that you have never um, seen before. So I went to the Barefoot Owl and I found something for my pain, which uh, was great. Um, but, um, yeah. So, you know, you go to booths and you're going to see, like, candles and incense. For a lot of people, this is the time to restock on their herb herbs. Um, things like that. Um, like I said, I just, um, I had a blast. Um, the food wasn't really good. Um, I guess it's because I didn't add sauce to it, which probably would have made it better, <laughs> which, uh, which means next year I'm going to do that. Um, they did have plenty of places to set, which was really awesome. Um, but like I said, overall, um, overall, 
I saw, sorry, let me rephrase that. I saw the need for these events. I saw the need that the community had. And this is, this is, you know, very, I think very different than say gay pride, where you have like the big name companies that have floats and, and all this type of stuff showing that they accept members of the LGBT community. At Pagan Pride, you don't have that. You have these little booths with these independent people. Um, I did see uh, the UU people there, which was really awesome. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, it has the same, uh, idea, you know, educating people, helping them to, uh, understand that, you know, we're not here to, um, you know, to harm anyone, though I am going to say that lady that put her wow in her bag, I was like, you know, that dog's going to pee on such your bag. Um, but, uh, you know, it was such a warm, welcoming thing. And, um, I, I, when I left the event and the pastor was already long gone, when I left the event, I really came out of it feeling like, wow, I have been around other people that are like me. And it's just, it was so nice. And I really had a lot of fun. Um, I wouldn't have been able um, to go to the event if my mother was still around because she literally would have been like, no, you're not going. Um, but uh, it was, I think it was my first event I went to after, you know, two, like two and a half years after mom passed away. Um, and I just, I really saw that community that I am a part of, but I really don't... Um, like, um, I don't really like get around, <laughs> um, and everything. So, um, when they have another pagan meetup, I'm definitely going to go this time. I didn't have my, um, ID on me, so I couldn't go, but now that I've got my ID on me, I can go. So, um, yeah, like I said, overall, it was just a fun thing community-based uh, people that would not be able to be around other pagans at any other time, um, you know, is able to, like, go and uh, be a part of the community. So I am going to end it here. hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys went to Pagan Pride, let me know your experiences. I would really appreciate it. But as I said, next year I will be taping um pagan pride in louisville um and um it is going to be a day earlier than this year's pagan pride so i already have it on my calendar and all that jazz so um i will see you guys around until next time be blessed bye